I'm here because I love my country and I love this state, and you know we have to change America's course. I'm here in the words of uh, the group of former supporters of my wife because Hillary sent me. Because none of us worked all that hard all through this year to see this election come to naught. We know we have got to change the course of America. And I want to talk to you today about the things I want you to say to people all over this state and your friends all over this country who are not at this rally. We have to elect a president who will rebuild the American dream, repair a badly shattered financial system, and restore America's standing in the world. Look at the mess that we have in our financial system. Compare that to what happened before. It isn't like this. This is not accidental, folks. You know, where I grew up in Arkansas, we had a saying that if you find a turtle on a fence post, chances are it didn't get there by accident. It did not have to be this way. It matters who the president is. It matters what the decisions are. It matters what the policies are. Decisions took us from a period where we had 22.7 million new jobs down to one where we're going to wind up with less than 5 million in eight years. Decisions took us from a period where median income went up $7,500 across all racial groups in America to a period where it's dropped 2000 Decisions took us from moving nearly 8 million people from poverty into the middle class to moving almost 5.5 million people from the middle class back into poverty. Decisions took us from paying $600 billion down on the national debt to adding almost $4 trillion to the national debt in just eight years. Decisions. Decisions had something to do with what happened on Wall Street, too. The decision in the last four years to say these big investment firms didn't have to keep nearly as much capital in reserve to cover their debts. The decision to say there would no longer be any limit on the ability of massive funds to bid down the value of stocks in a hysterical stock run to compound our financial crisis. Decisions. And you have to make that decision. Here's why you ought to be for Barack Obama. Number one, he's got the right philosophy. He knows you have to grow an economy from the ground up, not from the top down. Number two, he's got better answers, better answers for the economy, for energy, for health care, for education. He knows what it will take to get this country back on track. I have carefully read everything these candidates have put out. And I'm telling you, it matters because the history is this. Notwithstanding what people think about us politicians, the truth is virtually every person elected president does his, and someday I hope her, very best. Very best. Every president does his very best to keep the commitments made in the campaign. You need to know what they stand for. Obama's answers are better. Number three. He's got better understanding, better advisors, and better instincts on this economic stuff. We just have, all of us who've been involved in this have been through a very harrowing period these last few days, as you know. When all this happened, it was a, a matter that was unprecedented in the lifetimes of the people who were dealing with it. What did Barack Obama do? First of all, he got his advisors on the phone. Then he called all mine. Then he called some more. And you know what he said? Tell me what the problem is and how to fix it, and don't bother me with the politics. Let's do the right thing, and we'll sell it to America. So that's my case for the people that aren't here, for the people that are still undecided. You do not have to say one bad word about Senator Obama's opponent. 
You just have to go out and tell them the truth. The job of the next president is to rebuild the American dream, repair the financial system, restore America's leadership. On those issues, the Obama-Biden ticket and particularly Senator Obama have a better philosophy, better answers, better understanding, better advisors, a better vice presidential candidate, and a better plan for Florida.